Corner, presented by Jennifer. Dragon mating rituals. Stars. It was a beautiful night. The sky was clear, the wind was still, and the world just felt at peace. Despite knowing of the hardship and pain in the world, at that moment, it just felt right. It was a good night for him to burn out. He traveled far from, as far from civilization as possible, knowing this process could be violent and dangerous. He looked up at the stars, remembering their names and stories. He was old, one of the oldest of the star-touched dragons. His scales were tinted red from his age, but he wasn't scared. This was the way of things. You're born, you live, you die. But for him, it wouldn't be the end. As he lay down in the middle of the desert, he wondered what he would be like next. He wouldn't remember. He never did. But he wondered as his heart burned inside him. He was becoming hotter, his power pulling at his body more and more. He was ready. He glanced once more at the stars and smiled, closing his eyes as his whole body burned with a bright, pure light. His light expanded before collapsing in on itself and exploding out into a rainbow of colors and gases. The sand dispelled out from the, a large crater and a quake trembled through the earth. The gases remained where they were for um, about an hour, still and silent before slowly beginning to pull back into the middle, forming a small white ball. Another hour later, the ball opened up to reveal a baby dragoness. Looking around, she found herself surrounded by rubble in the middle of a crater in a strange, unknown location. Tilting her head, she tried to climb out, but the crater was too tall, and she slipped back into the center. Pouting, she let out a cry, sobbing for someone to help. She sat, sobbing, and cried for a while before a violet face with four eyes came to look over the edge. Are you stuck, little one? They asked with a tip of the head. The newborn nodded. If I help you out, will you listen to me and follow me? As if knowing this was a special request, the draggingly nodded. I will follow your light. Very well. The other said, reaching down and picking her up and placing her outside the crater. I am Nebula, and you are Starburst. You will follow me. Starburst nodded as she began following the other dragon into the distance. <laughs>